Alright, it looks like Zaire will be leaving us very soon. So how about a big round of applause for Zaire, our friend for once again with M, our trainer. Okay, we'll servo for tonight. Now these servos are very skilled at probing into holes using their long and very slender four paws. They use it to dig for animals and pull it out to eat. Now our trainer right now is holding on to a lure which is essentially a feather attached to the end of a stick to kind of resemble a bird. So what we're trying to do is to showcase its natural hunting behavior of a servo where they will pounce, leap and swipe to catch their prey. Let's see if Xiaomi can catch the prey tonight. Alright, come on Xiaomi, you got this. So close, right behind you. And there we go, look like Xiaomi has got the prey. So how about a big round of applause? For Shami, our African servo, and our trainer, Miss Anne. Now, think about it. Excuse me? Who's this? Oh, it's you. What are you doing out here, buddy? Everybody, this is Toffee, our common raccoon. It's not your turn, now, buddy. What are you... Well, I'm sure he is out here to show you his very unique adaptation which would be his very dexterous paws right there. Now, to have dexterous paws means that these animals are very good at manipulating their paws, so they use it to open up stuff, just like the lid of this container right here. Now, in the wild, these animals should not come across containers like this, but they do hunt for crustaceans like prawns and also crabs. So what they will first do is use those very dexterous paws to first catch their prey, they will then pull apart that shell and consume their very, very juicy flesh. Now, unfortunately, these raccoons are actually regarded as pests in many countries. But it is not entirely their fault. Now, our towns and cities are a species of otters in the world. Now, today I'm going to be on Team Bubbles. Come on. You know what to do? Yes, the tin can. Right here in the aluminum department. Yes, drop it in. Recycle, not juggle. Yes, drop it in. Let it go, come on. Recycle, yes. Come on, you almost got it. And there we go. All right. One down, one more to go. Okay, you got this, all right? You did the same thing. Just do it one more time, all right? Any time tonight would be fantastic, Bubbles. Come on. Bubbles, I'm encouraged. Room for Bubbles, everybody. Come on, drop it in. You're so close. Come on there, just let it go. You got this, come on Bubbles. Almost. Just a bit more. There we go. Alright. Looks like we're done with the tin can and the plastic bottle. Alright, wait, 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 close, close. Never cut this. Bye. Huh? And the fragile environment that they call home. Now, what we do makes a difference, but we have to decide what kind of difference we would like to make. Because the greatest threat to our planet is still to believe that somebody else will come and save it for us. Now on my left, coming out, we have Bulan with Mr. Nasmi and on my right, we have one of the newest members of our creatures of the night show. Now this is Gimli and he is our Sunda Scots Owl. Now Gimli right here is actually a very a local wild species. Now it is one of the smaller species of owls you can find right here in Singapore. And with that, I would like to conclude our creatures of the night presentation. Thank you guys so, so much for coming. Look at the wonderful, wonderful crowd. Now have a good evening tonight, bye, thank you and good night.